those powders. And welcome back. <laughs> Once again, Mario Player Extraordinaire powers as fuck. second stream of the day how are you all doing welcome this is a pokemon ralphie and the team rocket series reaction stream that we're going to do because dorkly has a lot of content on it and the dorkly content is usually very good so we are going to take a look at it today now this is a stream so you know it's going to be a little bit different to my normal reaction videos uh if you're watching this after the fact on youtube you're just watching the stream there'll probably be timestamps of when we start each different thing down there in the description or in the comment section if you guys would like to check that out, if you want to skip to certain parts of the stream, you're like, hey, I don't want to, I don't know, wait while he talks to chat. Why well, do I want to do that? But I am going to talk to chat because this is a stream and we're live, so I, I'm going to do that. <clears throat> but yo, uh, what, what's going on, everyone? How are you all doing? Uh, hello, Amber. Hello, Madison. Hello, Locke. Hello, Flair. Hello, Aussie. Hello, Luke. Hello, how you guys all doing? Welcome to the stream. Why am I streaming at 640? Yeah, I stream at 640 every Sunday and Wednesday. Every single Sunday and Wednesday. Yo, how you all doing? Hope you all having a fantastic Wednesday. It is the 27th of January 2021. And you hope you all having a fantastic day. Where like I said, we're gonna watch Ralphie and we're gonna watch the Team Rocket series because Ralphie's a little bit short. It's shorter than Team Rusty. Sorry, it's shorter than Rusty was. So we're gonna make sure that we watch all of that, and it's gonna be good. Ninja. I had to practically run home from work to make it to this stream, but I made it just in time. Pog! Happy Wednesday, Pat. Thank Have you! Fun with Ralphie. Appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. That was very kind of you. I uh, hope they're having a good day. Thank you, man. That was very nice. But uh, yeah, how are you all doing? Like I said, we're going to be watching Ralphie and the Team Rocket series. We're going to jump into that very soon. But first, I do want to see how you're all doing. You know, I'm yeah, we're all we're live. It's all about we're all about community building here on the channel, which means I will talk directly to your face, even though I do that regularly. Anyway, and there's also a couple of things I wanted to ask you guys about that I was talking about on my Twitch stream earlier that I wanted to kind of... I know the YouTube stream audience is different to the Twitch stream audience. I don't know why, because you should be watching all the Twitch streams anyway, but regardless, it's a different conversation. I want to talk about the, uh, the reaction video that we uploaded yesterday as well. But how are you guys all doing? Uh, patterns, patterns is your doppelganger? What? I'm not good. I'm sorry, Swift. I hope that I can, you know, hope that the stream can make it, you better. How do you what my face sees? What? What? I don't have Twitch. Twitch is literally free. Of course you have Twitch. It's like saying you don't have Google. Um, Pat, you're the best. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. It's okay. No one, no one dares tell me otherwise because I already know that. <laughs> I come from Skit. Hey, well, welcome to the channel. Can I do a Radical Red Nose Lock? I don't want to do one now. I'm doing better when I watch a stream. Well, I hope that uh, I can, you know, improve your day in any small way that I can today. And we might actually react to some more stuff as well later on after we finish the Dorkly stuff. Who knows? Who knows? Am I well? I am well. Yes, I am pretty well. Any delay? A little bit of a delay. Tiny little bit of a delay. I prefer YouTube over Twitch. Well, I would say that YouTube definitely has... Um, Definitely has a place. I think the player for YouTube is definitely better, but I think that Twitch is overall a better stream experience, personally. Especially when it comes to the chat. The chat on Twitch is like, substantially better. Substantially better. Uh, I'm good, Scaly. How are you doing? 
What's for dinner? I had this wonderful Mexican stew that I made. It was delectable. It also burned my mouth. So my mouth is in horrible, terrible pain right now. But I'm pushing through it because I want to provide the entertainment that you so sorely desire. So we're here nonetheless. And remember, chat, if you're copying and pasting the same message over and over again, stop it. Shut up. No one likes that. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. You love your sub noodle plush? Hey, nice. React harder? I'll do it. Dude, I'm going to do the hardest reaction in the world. The hardest reaction. I've only had a bagel all day. Go and eat something, Molten. You need nutrients. You need nourishment. Chat, what did you have for lunch today? For breakfast or whatever meal that you've had today so far? Today's your birthday, yo! Super, happy birthday! That's fantastic. Hardest reaction? The most hardcore reaction. I like your merchandise, thank you. You had a bagel, you had pasta, sandwich, chicken pie. Ooh, chicken pie. Nice. Ooh, nice. My sub noodle isn't here? I'm sorry, man. You'll get it. You'll get it soon, dude. You will get it soon. I promise you, you will get it soon. Captain Crunch? I've never had Captain Crunch before. You know what, chat, chat, chat. First thing I want to talk about before we get into the, the reacting is, well, first off, I have this pack of Japanese Kit Kats uh, that are all sorts of weird flavors. Like, for example, premium citrus mint, cheesecake, and lychee fruit, I think? I don't, I can't even tell on this one. Maybe passion fruit? I'm not really sure. Uh, I was planning on doing a Kit Kat tier list at some point, uh, which I'll do on Twitch. So I think that'll be fun. Secondly, I was thinking about doing more kind of Pokotubu React stuff to the anime. I don't know how many of you guys saw the video that I uploaded yesterday, which was Pokotubu Reacts to the first Pokemon Journeys anime episode. If you guys would like to see me do like a movie version of that or something along those lines, let me know. You know, like this stream or something like that. You do that, show, show a little bit of, show a little bit of support on that. Cats! Thank you so much for becoming a sub noodle. What a legend. The first new sub noodle of the stream that deserves a round of applause. Amazing. What is a sub noodle? A sub noodle is a sub noodle. It's like saying, what is a dog? Uh, a sub noodle is a sub noodle. What typing is it? Uh, it's not a Pokemon, but if it was to be in a Pokemon game like it is in Pokemon Emerald sub noodle version, you know, the one that we did the sleep lock on, the one that you can download if you're in the Discord server uh, and play that game it is in that game. It's a fairy type. It's very fighting. So if you want to get that, then you can. Oh, can you start the reaction? Brandon Price, just for you, buddy. I'll delay it for another two minutes. <laughs> Imagine Jaden rating you on Twitch. I mean, that'd be pretty sick. Dude, I mean, I, 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 that would be pretty fantastic. Yeah, it's also in the Team Summit server. That's correct. First stream. Hello, dear bug. What's up, man? How you doing? Would you, uh, would you try... Would you react to I tried playing Pokemon Platinum? Wait, what? What's I tried playing Pokemon Platinum? You're not talking about the Jaden Animations video, right? You must not be talking about that because I know you're not talking about that because I've already done that. So you must be talking about something else and I've never heard of that. I have no idea what that is. Are beans on toast real? Yes, beans on toast are not only real, but they're also really good. And I don't want to hear beans on toast slander. If you live in the UK, you already know. Beans on toast are delectable. If you live in the U.S. and you're like, uh, beans on toast, um, what? I don't want to hear it from you. This is coming from the country that deep fries Oreos. And puts sugar and cream in pretty much everything that doesn't need it. Okay? I don't want to hear it. Beans on toast is good. Am I British? Yes. Anyway, I think that we have done a good enough introduction here today. I think it is time to get... Is black pudding real? Yes. I think it is time to get into the reaction. I think it's time to start watching. Brady, thank you very much for the dollar. Appreciate that. Do you hate American? No, I don't hate. Dude, I love America. Why do you think I visit America so often? Dude, <laughs> me having banter with Americans does not mean I hate them. Chat, you need to understand banter. If you don't understand banner, then I don't know what to do for you. You need to understand sarcasm and banner. If you don't understand that, then hey, I'm sorry. But if, to be fair, if English isn't your first language, it can be harder. So if English isn't your first language, you're all good. Don't worry. You have you 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 have that pass to not understand it. It's okay. If English is your first language and you just don't understand any kind of sarcasm whatsoever, there's nothing I can do for you, bud. There's nothing at all that I can do for you. Any 
Anyway, it is time to get into Pokemon Ralphie. I have never seen Pokemon Ralphie before. Today will be my first time watching it. And I'm excited because it's like the grown-up version of Rusty. It's like, uh, it's like if I was the Dorkly animation. Do you hate India? No. Why are people asking me if I hate countries? Here, let me just clear this up. I don't hate any... Why would I hate a country? Why would I hate any country? There's no, there's no country that I hate. Why would you hate a country? That's, a, that's so dumb. Why would you do that? Uh, no, of course not. What a dumb qu Like, I'm sorry. Okay. It is a dumb question. Like, we can all agree to that. That is definitely a dumb question. 100%. That is definitely... Anyway. Let's get into it! We have... Oh, well, let me move my cam, actually. That's, that's a bad cam placement right there. Very bad cam placement. SRH, thank you so much for the five. Appreciate that. SRH actually popped off on the Twitch stream earlier on today as well. Thank you very much. Okay, where should I put my cam? Like maybe up here? Or maybe like down here? It might be better like down, down in the bottom left. I'm not really sure what the... I think that this might be the best. No, because I feel like that's going to get in the way. Maybe like up here. Yeah, the top left. That seems like a good place. Yeah, I think top left is good. Lagging, but it's cool. Thank you, SRH. I appreciate that. That was very cool of you. Okay. It is time. Ralphie time. Wait, I, I need to... Let me put chat on screen first. There you go. I'll have chat on screen. Why not? There you go. Now you can be on screen, chat. There you are. You look cute today, chat. You look really cute today. Okay. Ralphie time. Let's... Begin the show! Let me know if the, the audio is okay, by the way. Pallet Town 20 year reunion! Yes! 20 years away from Pallet Town, but I'm back, baby. Where you at, Red? Your biggest rival is back to challenge you to a rematch. That's um, unfortunate. Who are you? His number one rival, his historical nemesis, Bug catcher Ralphie! Oh wait, I forgot he was a bug catcher. That's right. I haven't seen this. I've seen like little snippets. I haven't seen the full thing. Also, I'll be pausing, you know, to actually give a reaction at some point. But I forgot he was a bug catcher. That's sad, dude. <gasps> That's so sad. Oh, so cool. Oh, bug catcher Ralphie, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Maybe I didn't. Love your content. I've been lurking in the channel for a while, but first tip. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Say. Who? Loud enough? Because I have no idea who you are. Uh, um, I'm Ralphie Jones. Surely you remember the epic battle of Viridian Forest I had with Red, a battle which rocked the world, shook the heavens, and forever intertwined our destinies. Pidgey! You oh man, this is so epic! <laughs> oh no, my poor baby's accuracy! Yeah, Ah, oh, dude, whoa! Dude, that's insane, man! What a fight! What an unforgettable fight! No, definitely. Wait, 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 wait. Was that level 17? Was that level 17 Metapod? Why is your Metapod level 17, you absolute idiot? Pidgey, you sand attack. <laughs> oh no, my poor baby's accuracy. Yeah, no, definitely gonna need more than that. Oh, hey, it's the bug trainer who got so embarrassed from losing that he peed himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was medical. It's called a feeble bladder and it's not my fault. It's, it's called, wait, no way. No, is this a thing? Feeble bladder. Is that real? Underactive bladder syndrome. Oh. Oh, is it? I, my, poor Ralphie, dude, he's been going through it. And yes, that fight may have sent me into a life-threatening spiral of depression that drove away my family and friends and fundamentally broke my understanding of my own self-worth. Oh. But now I'm ready for a rematch, Red! Come yeah. out and fight me, you coward! Ready. No Metapod! Oh man. Is it still level 17? It better at least be level 19 by now, but I swear to god. Holy crap, has your Metapod been like that for 20 years? Jesus. Why didn't you just take it to the Pokemon Center? The Pokemon Center's free! He doesn't need a Pokemon Center, he's fine! He needs revenge! He doesn't need free healthcare! What he needs is something else! He needs freedom! He needs vengeance! <clears throat> and now, class of 20 years ago, we have a treat for you. A special video message from everyone's favorite, Red. Yes. 
the video message. The video message is going to be him staring into a camera. So it's going to be, it's, it's literally, the video message is just going to be. For like, for like five minutes and then that's it. <laughs> yeah! My dear friends, I'm sorry I couldn't make it to the reunion. After becoming Pokemon champion of the Why is world, he talking? I've been very busy. What are you doing? Creating my successful line of super potions, my multi-million dollar master ball manufacturing company. That time I stood on Mount Silver for a year straight, and my biggest accomplishment oh boy, that was fun. marrying my super hot wife and raising two actual genius children. Uh, what now? I miss all of you deeply and think of you all the time. Daisy, Mo, that guy over there, yeah. and last but not least, my only rival in the whole world who I could never forget. Oh, you're so proud, Ralphie, no! Look at his face. It's amazing what you can do with like a few pixels. Like he looks so smug and happy and we're about to see his heart break. Blue, and no one else, goodbye. Oh, geez. Ralphie, are you peeing yourself it's called a feeble bladder and it's medical it's medical man don't you get it it's it's medical you can't just like he's got a feeble bladder unfortunately poor guy he's got a feeble bladder what can you do <laughs> nobody sees mr red without an appointment I this company's called red ink like, imagine if i made a co imagine if i made it a company and i just called it daniel incorporated like, Pirates Incorporated would make sense, because, like, that, that's the name of the channel. It's a business name, but pa Daniel Incorporated, that'd be great. Meat Pot, help me please take me away from my trainer. No, sorry, there's nothing I can do. You're gonna have to stay with your trainer forever. Sorry, Metapod. There's, there, there's nothing I can do, buddy. Uh, thank you, though, Chase. I appreciate that. I'm not nobody. I'm Ralphie, his number one rival in the whole world, which you would know if you'd listened to what I was screaming for the last ten minutes. Arceus almighty, take your damn Metapod to a Pokemon Center. Oh. Yeah, poor thing. Come on, Metapod. We'll get our rematch with Red another time. I guess no one wants to fight us today. Oh, you talking about Pokemon, mister? I'll battle you. Scram, kid. I don't have time for a youngster like you. Pfft, fine. You old timers don't know anything about Pokemon anyway. <laughs> Kill him. Uh, old timer? Kill I'm him. only 30. Pull up those. He's only 30, and his hairline is like almost as bad as mine. Oh no! Big boy pants, kiddo, because it's time for a spanking. What a weird thing to say to a child you barely know. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, Ralphie, bud, you're about to get picked up by MI5. Whatever, let's fight! Oh my god, it's still level 17. This is so depressing to look at. Jesus, oh, that hairline, dude. It is almost as bad as mine. Jesus Christ. What? Metapod, use Harden! So 54! Charizard, oh. Mega Evolve, and use Flamethrower! Is that really necessary? Really? Mega... Uh, do, did you do you really think you have to in this situation? Holy shit! <laughs> Whoa! Your Metapod isn't looking so good. You should probably take it to a Pokemon Center. Wow, what even was that? Um, a Mega Evolution? Do you think Pokemon has stayed the same since you were a kid, like five decades ago? Um, Doi? <laughs> well, it hasn't. Also, no one says Doi anymore. You're even more clueless than my dad, Red. Wait, your dad oh. is Red? Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Guess what, buddy? I'm not just older than you. I'm bigger too. Ralphie used kidnap. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Wow, that escalated incredibly quickly. Right, I didn't- Oh, probably shouldn't- Yeah, all right, that was- Hmm. Damn. So, we, we, we were at like, we were at like 10%, and then we just like shot directly through the roof, went to Mars, started a new moon colony on Mars. Jesus Christ. It was too effective. Yike. What, he didn't get arrested for that? Are you kidding me? Should have gotten no, arrested for that. Don't hang up! Tell Red I have his son Todd! Tell him I need a rematch! Oh, wow, he, he... You should take that child to a Pokemon Center. 
Trust me, you do not want a rematch with my dad. It's like you know nothing about Pokemon. Yeah. This five-year-old is incredibly calm for having been run over by a truck and then also kidnapped by a 30-year-old. Yeah, right. I can name all 151 Pokemon. <clears throat> Electro, Diglett, Nidoran, Mankey, Venusaur, Atata, Fero, Pidgey, this is just King, Tepion, Dragonite, Gastly. What, are there more now? 152? <laughs> 153? It's like 900 you now. use your life as a bargaining chip to fight your dad. Then maybe you can at least teach me everything that's new with Pokemon. Huh, like I'd be your coach. No, 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 I'm the coach. I just need you to teach me. I'm the coach, except we're doing a re reversal here. This time, the student teaches the master. Ralphie doesn't believe in Pokemon centers. He doesn't believe in Pokemon centers. What is he, a Republican? Give me everything you know and help me practice and guide me with your sage wisdom and experience. So, I'm the coach. I'm older, I'm the coach. You're ten times my age and know nothing about Pokemon, so I'm the coach. Well, sorry I'm not 100% up to speed on Pokemon. I had to go back to school to get my GED. I spent my entire childhood in a forest catching bug. But it's a really good one! Oh god, please, please. I just hope there's a happy ending for this map board. Also, don't type uh, spoilers in the chat, please, chat. Uh, don't, don't type spoilers in the chat. That would kind of ruin it. Um, so don't do that. Thank you. We know you're in there. Open up. It's the police. Oh crap, they traced the call. No, my dad doesn't care enough about me to even know that I'm gone. They must what? have found us a different way. <laughs> I wonder if it was the massive trailer. How is this kid even still alive? With this much blood loss? Are you kidding me? I'm no doctor, but... I knew but... that Red was a jerk. All right, smoke him out. Coffee. <laughs> Help me. Yeah, obviously, in a hostage situation, what we want to do is gas the entire place with noxious poison gas. We know that there is an injured child in here, so we should probably gas the entire building. We defeat your stupid anti-fun dad, Todd. Let me be your coach. Sure. Ha, huh. my first lesson is you do something to help us escape. No problem. What's that? Uh, right pager? They're new? You but don't you know have... anything, do you, you geezer? I'm only 30! Coffee. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you're only 30, dude. Pregnant again. Wow, that's great. It times out perfectly with your retirement starting tomorrow and everything. Uh-oh. Oh, no, I know exactly where this is going. Retiring tomorrow. Another kid on the way. An old gruff guy who's seen enough of the forest and just wants to settle down with the family. I've seen a lot in my days. But now I think it's time to kick back and relax a little. And then... Okay. Yeah, I suppose it does. I guess it's time for this old cop to just walk off into the sunset happy and healthy with his seven children. Whoop, easy big guy. That's how it goes, chat. That's how it goes. Unfortunately. When one of ours goes down in the field, we stop at nothing to bring the killer to justice. That's why HQ has sent us a special investigator from an experimental division that trains Pokemon to solve crimes. Gentlemen, meet your new commanding officer. Ooh. Oh. My. God. It's Kyoko from Danganronpa. That Pokemon! Detective Squirtle! Oh, never mind. Detective... Why does he have a massive mustache? Squirtle. That's right, but... What is that, like, the hair? It looks like Princess Leia, like, hair ear buns going on there. You all can call me Dick Squirts. Uh, I don't want to do that. Where's the... They said Dick Squirts, man. Darkly, mate, if you need a new joke writer, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just, just, just throw my name in the ring there, because uh, that was, that was, I mean, that, that was golden. That was really good, but just throw my name in the ring there. Detective Pikachu! He was busy. Besides, the agency has trained plenty of Pokemon dicks. You're just lucky you didn't get Dick Rhydon, Dick oh. Machoke, Dick Pinsa, Dick Haunter, Dick Krabby. Oh, Dick Haunter. Dick haunt her. Dick lick licky. Or Dick Smoochum. Smoochum's a baby Pokemon. I'm uncomfortable.
That crabby mustache is really cool, though. That guy's loco. Doesn't matter anyway. The burp is long gone. Ah! Listen up, Numel Nuts. Every second you spend standing there twiddling your nightsticks is another second our perp is out there getting his jolly nature off, stomping the life out of slightly tubby cops who are close to retirement. Wow, the new guy's kind of a hard ass, huh? <laughs> ah! Wait, did, so, so did they just give up on, like, finding the kidnapped runover children? Like, wasn't that why they went to the factory in the first place? They were trying to find the kid, and then they're like, oh... Police officer's dead. Forget about the kid. Uh, we just need to find the murderer now. <laughs> you want to know what makes my ass so hot? Well, here's a clue. It's not because I've been spamming defense curl. It's these dead cops littering the tall grass. It's not that many it's dead there, cops. Man. Laughing at us. Taunting all of us. I want to eat all this ice cream. Yes. Uh, like no one ever was. But da da da. In order to find the perp, we gotta think. To eat the ice cream is my real test. To taste it is my cause. But da da. And collect the perp. Also, I have a lease here that shows this storage unit is rented by a guy named Ralphie. Jo Ow! Ah shit. Uh, sorry. Actually, that one was good. That was actually a good contribution. <laughs> don't don't let sorry, the slap that was, that was discourage. One. Uh, art this. Ah. Uh, I thought Squirtle couldn't use double slap. I've forgotten more moves than you've ever even heard of, you piece of shit. I am the top of my class, number one motherfucker on the squad. I. Wait, so, so, th wait, they, they censored, sh they censored motherfucker, but they didn't censor shit. Okay. I'm dick squirts. All right, dick squirts. Is that kid dead yet? Is he okay? That kid is definitely dying. Like, that is a big head wound. If you have that much blood pouring from your head, like, you are not lasting very long. Mr. Ralphie, shouldn't we turn ourselves into the police? I'm pretty sure my little boo-boo's only getting worse. Psh, nonsense. It's squirting! Much like Dick squirts, this wound is squirting onto the windshield. Sense. Soon enough, the police will realize this is one big misunderstanding, and you'll realize to stop comp- Head wounds do bleed a lot, even if they're not very serious. This kid was run over by a car. So- A truck. Complaining about your head wound. <laughs> ah, might have taken a decade or two longer than expected, but- I'm nearly done working out the kinks with my personal teleporter. Howdy, Bill. Oh my god. Thought we'd cruise on by and see if we could pick up some boat tickets you're always handing out. You're Ralphie Jones, the maniac from TV. I saw the photos. They were horrible. And they even gro- I saw the photos. They're just mug shots, but they so grossed me out, man. You're like super ugly. And that hairline, I mean, come on now. Those are photos from the internet. You're a killer, and a kidnapper, too. <laughs> I'm flattered that you know- <laughs> Master, the kid did not deserve it. <laughs> what the f Who I am, but I'm not a killer. <laughs> Run, youngster. Get the cops. <laughs> no, yeah. Todd, we have to continue your training. <laughs> help me. <laughs> uh... Get help. We need to send this psychopath to prison. No, Todd, use Metapod, like I showed you. Todd is low on health there. Okay, um, uh, I'll go Metapod. Oh, oh, oh uh -oh. no. Are they gonna get, they're gonna get fused together. You're gonna get fused together. Uh, holy crap. Wow, Metapod, you evolved into a Billapod. What am I? Oh. I'm a monster. Oh, God. Please have mercy on me. Oh, well, geez. How about you please give us those boat tickets? What are you even talking about? There was one ticket I had 20 years ago. Now, oh, for the love of God, Jesus, would you please kill me. What part of I'm not a killer did you not understand? That cop thing was an accident. Could have happened to anyone. Wait, what just happened? And that was an accident, too. Metapod return. Whoops. Uh, next another lesson, accident. Wade through these puddles and find us a credit card. Just another accident, guys. Didn't mean to. Whoops. Whoopsie. Whoopsie, guys. Sorry. Gosh, we're going to be late to catch the SSN. 
Maybe we shouldn't have stopped to get a slowpoke tail. Slowpoke tails! Now in chocolate! There's a chocolate kind? Oh my god, I need one! That sounds delicious! Wait, are they like the actual slowpoke tails? They put like chocolate in them? Meat and chocolate. Is there a meat and chocolate dish that makes sense? Red meat pod and bill die getting fuel together and slice by door. That was an interesting way of stating that, Chase, but yes, indeed. Very much so. Very much, Chase. You sure you don't want a bite? I wish we had stopped at a Pokemon Center instead, or at least a bathroom to get fresh toilet like, paper Maybe like for chicken my and head. chocolate, something like that. <laughs> hey, Is that a combination mine. that would work? Holy shit! Ralphie Jones, exit the vehicle and place your hands upon your head. You are under- Kid, don't put your hands on your head. Anything touching that area could kill you now. Arrest for multiple counts of murder, one of which was, ugh, it was just real gross. Oh, wow. Some sort of Squirtle who is also a detective. They must call him Dick Squirts. Wow, <laughs> very accurate. Wait, why is he laughing? How did you find us? You must be the world's greatest detective. You uh, literally used your victim's credit card to buy tickets to this boat. No, you're wrong! Uh, oh, and also your accomplice ran anyway. Uh, uh, Machamp. They gave him a deal. They said Machamp. They set him down in the room and said, Machamp, you're looking at 40 to life or 40 to, 40 to 50 years in prison, but I can get you down to a cool 25 if you rat out your accomplices. And he, and he crumbled. He crumbled like a cake, like a flake on a bowl of ice cream. Ship's leaving. Brace yourself, Todd. We're gonna ram the barricade. Just like in the movies. Uh, I don't think the kids can survive that. Oh, that was a oh really good God, idea. Why didn't you move? In the movies, they always move. Ah, four more dead cops. They were having a group retirement party tonight. I took him here because I thought this would be an easy bust. Remember, guys, Ralphie isn't a killer. It was all by accident. Why, officer, I didn't mean to kill this group of police officers. It was an accident. Uh, I just held the accelerator and they happened to be in the way. Realistically, it was their fault. If they had just not been in the way, they wouldn't have died. So really, I don't think we can blame him for anything here. So it's your fault. It's not my fault. It's your fault. It is not my fault. It's your fault. Time's infinity. On the ground now, Ralphie! Or I swear to God, I will blow your f***ing head off. This ain't a water gun, I assure you. Oh, everything getting dim. I need Poker Center. Now. You're just really hacking on here, bud. Todd needs to get to that ship's infirmary now or he's gonna die. Do you want to be responsible for another death today? Yeah, dick squirts. You're already responsible for four deaths. Not me, you. Four deaths. Uh, you want to be responsible for a child dying too? Mm -hmm. Ah! Obvious, damn it! Good plan. Shoot the bullets up in the air, they'll come down, nail Ralphie in the head. What a perfect execution stance. <laughs> That's some real good Use acting, the Todd. Role. Really committing to the role. Threw on the boat? Todd. 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 You good, buddy? Ah, oh, shit, there's a mew under here. Damn it. Oh my god, Where Todd's still I? alive! I just had the most horrible dream. Hey there, Snorlax. Did you rest long enough? Are you all back to full health? <laughs> still anyway, dying. the boat crashed. Oh my god, the SSN! Wait, what happened to the crew? Oh, don't worry. We made them jump overboard long ago. They're fine. <laughs> Where are we, Mr. Ralphie? Ralphie doesn't kill people. He's not a killer. It was just an accident. Yours truly steered us to a secluded jungle off the coast of exotic Alola. At least I'm pretty sure that's where we are. Once again, we, we had to make the crew jump overboard. I think we're still in Kanto. Not much crew Isn't left. Is that the highway we took to the SSN? Like, like right there? <laughs> um, jungles don't have highways, silly. Besides, there's an Alolan muck. And a member of Team Skull. Uh, Those kidders. Now let's kay. get your bet. 
got to get your strength up if we're going to continue my or uh, uh, your training. What is this? What, what do you just uh, do? Some candy I salvaged from the boat. It's the only food we have, so uh, it's pretty rare. Oh, oh boy! Oh! Hey, uh, uh, uh. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, that's that's fine. That's fine. That's what the child turns into. That the thumbnail is is it's the kid. It's the kid. The, it was the kid the entire time. Please say psych. Please say psych. Please say psych. Oh God! What am I? Wow! You evolved into a lowland tide. What did you do to me? I'm a freak. Whoa, now, freak-ish, freak-like maybe, but I wouldn't say you're a freak. <laughs> ah, quit it, freak! Andy doesn't evolve people, Ralphie. I wouldn't evolve unless I'm a, a Pokemon. <gasps> PLOT TWIST OF THE CENTURY! Red's kid was actually a Pokemon the entire time! ba 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 What? That's crazy. Hey, Chase, thank you. That's great. Todd just evolved in Mutant. Todd wonder what his moves are now. His moves are pick up with long, disgusting, tail-absorbing thing. And also, big scratch. It's a lot more powerful than normal Scratch, because it uses big claws. <laughs> Hello, Contronco, what's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. Oh my god. What an unbelievable revelation. We are next to a highway. At least you're not dying anymore, Todd. Oh, Christ. Oh, god. Okay. Okay, okay. So you've accidentally evolved into a disgusting monster. Who hasn't that happened to? Uh, anybody? Well, no, to be fair, uh, it, it did actually happen to Ralphie. It definitely happened to Ralphie. It hasn't happened to anybody. What better place to be a deformed bag than here in sunny Alola? Plenty of skin to tan, huh? Huh? We're in Kanto, you bedoofus. Maybe you recognize my dad's building? Oh, Red has buildings all over. You can't ever get me wrong. Do you understand how annoying that is? I'm ending this now before anyone else gets hurt. I mean... Accident! Ralphie's accidental murder has actually spread to all those around him as well. Very cool. Before anyone else gets hurt. Why, why is it only cops that die in this? Like... It is exclusively, exclusively police officers that die in this series. This is, this is a little ridiculous. I would like to point out that Mutant Todd is literally a Digimon named Raymon. Wait, 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 it's a, it's a Digimon? Are you serious? That's kind of, that's kind of hilarious, I'm not gonna lie. Jeez. Well, hey, Rasmus, thank you very much! It's literally called Ram- wait, they called it Ramon? Are you serious? All right, I, I need to look this Are up. You serious? Okay, I, I I need to. Oh my god, Raremon. Is that is that real? Oh my, wow, it is. It it yeah, it is. It is literally real. See that? Wait, can you see that? Oh no, you can't see that. Hold on. Why is it? You can like kind of see it in the corner there. Look at that. You can like kind of see it in the corner there. Why does why does my video like always take priority over everything? Like, why does it do that? It's so weird. Anyway. Wait, why did that explode? They just flew over and then flew away again and exploded. What was that? It was like the scene out of the Avengers. Oh, suddenly not constantly killing people isn't so easy, is it, Tide? Shut up, shut up, shut up! Uh, oh, good. Go ahead and cancel my lunch order. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and head on down to Cinnabar Island because it's taken so goddamn long, I've turned into a fossil, Daniel! A fossil! Oh, 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 Todd, my child, you're back and, and... Wait, how, how does he know that that's Todd? Well, I guess a good father would always be able to recognize their child, no matter how big and disgustingly mutated they have become. What a good dad. Can we get a round of applause and the dad of the century <laughs> award for Mr. Red, please? What a great dad. Fantastic. What a guy. What a guy. What a guy. 
You've evolved. Yeah, our funny thing, Dad, because I always assumed I was a boy and not a boy-shaped Pokemon. Well, I mean, I assumed you already knew this, uh, and that's why you and this psychopath killed my scientist, Bill. No, that was really just good old-fashioned criminal negligence or manslaughter. I do get the two confused. Well, I just do them so often that I just can't pay. I get them confused, guys. I mean, come on now. Doesn't everyone? I happen to make a tape for you to watch just in case you ever found out. Hi, I'm Mr. Deoxys. If you're watching this, it means your father is dead. <laughs> Why, why would you make it such like a happy-go-lucky? Your dad is dead. Uh, uh, we can skip that. By combining equal parts of Mr. Mime, Garbodor, and just a hit of Froakie to fill what? in the genetic gaps. Garbodor, Mr. Mime, and Froakie? What? Bingo! Pokey DNA! What? Your father was able to create the very first child type, so he could have offspring that he loves as much as he loves Pokemon. Wow, what a weird genetic experiment. This could possibly not ever go wrong ever. So if Todd really is a Pokemon, he belongs to whoever catches him. Well, I, I guess technically that's true. Dibs. What? Yes. <laughs> that's not how you catch Pokemon, Ralphie. Is that how you caught your dumb metapod as well? He just looks at you and you're like, oh, you're, you're, you're mine, you're mine, you're mine, you can't, you can't say no. I said dibs. Who's the master trainer now? Dibs wins. And also, can I borrow a Pokeball? Ooh, I've got to give you a nickname. <sighs> I really wish you wouldn't. <laughs> oh no. Oh, we're on to the finale. It's the finale, boys, we're on to the finale. By the way, remember, after this chat, we're going to be watching the Team Rocket series that is also on Dorkly. So, that is going to be happening right after this as well. All my life, I've been told I'm not good enough. You're just a bug catcher. True, true, tr very true. Bug catcher. You true, yes, you are not good enough and you're just a bug catcher. Also true. You've got a feeble bladder. It, yes, you do have a feeble bladder. That is also true. Chat, hit that like button for the finale. It's finale time. <laughs> You keep accidentally killing people. Tr that also ends true. Today. Wait, you're not gonna kill any more people? That's that's great, Ralphie. That's that's good. I'm glad you're turning over this new leaf in life. You're going to stop murdering people senselessly. That's fantastic. Maybe not the last one. We'll see. Enough! I should have taken you out a long time ago. I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure that's what I already did. Wait. You talking to Ralphie or are you talking to your son? You even gave me 12 Pokey Dollars afterwards. This isn't about my life savings. It's about proving once and for all that I'm a better Pokemon trainer and that also your science project son is my son and I'm handsomer too. Your science project son is my son. Ralphie, what are you saying, bud? And that everyone likes me and I didn't waste my life. Mm. Go Todd Blob. I thought we agreed on Todd Dominator. <laughs> Don't be silly. Todd Dominator? Christ. That's way over the character limit. <laughs> Welcome to the most intense battle you'll ever witness in your entire life. We have Ralphie versus Red in a slime fight to the death. <laughs> Enough. I've been searching for a father figure all my life, but if you're the trainers I'm supposed to look up to, I'm better off living in the tall grass with- Christ, Ralphie is a bloody state. Look at the absolute state of Ralphie. I mean, Red looks like he's still 10 years old on his face. He has literal baby face syndrome, but Ralphie is- Ralphie looks like he's 50. The other freaks. That's right, son. This guy's a few scoops short of a Vanellux. Dang it, Dad! Don't you get it? You're both the exact same. The delusions, the selfishness, the insecurity. You're, you're more like than Pikachu and Amolga, or Pikachu and Dendene, or Pikachu and that last one they trotted out, the, the dumb one, and you know, Togi Mr. Zappy Mouse. Togedemaru is a good one, shut up. That was like, Dendene sucks. Togedemaru is a good one. You both asserted ownership over something that does not belong to you. Ralphie's had it rough? Ralphie has not had it rough. 
is he's a loser because he didn't do anything with his life and then he accidentally killed like 15 people who are very close to retirement by the way very close to retirement if you really care about something shouldn't you let it grow and mean something to a new generation because by trying to take control back and dictating your terms you only damage and warp the thing that you claim to love quite literally is this like an allegory or no i'm literally a mutant because of the two of you True. You're a horrible dad, and you're the worst Pokemon trainer I've ever seen! You know, True. Todd, I think you're right. All this has been a waste. I should focus on things that I'm actually good at. Like murder. What? Yeah. Oh, no. Whoa! That one was an accident because... Uh... Shouldn't have been standing near the edge, Red. I mean, you're basically asking for it. I mean, what was he gonna do? Like, not push you? Was is that was he supposed to do? Not push you? I mean, come on now. Uh oh, did I do that, Mr. Red? I'm responding to the silent alarm. But oh my God, Ralphie Jones, tactical maneuver! Ah! God damn it! I'm just a squirtle. And oh my God, again. <laughs> Dick Squirts, what are you doing here? Private sector, baby. They don't care how many cops die on your watch. Sometimes it's even a bonus. <laughs> oh, my <What>? evil bladder. <laughs> You're making my dick squirt. <laughs> oh, oh, that was painful. Okay. Oh, geez. Sorry, I need a moment after that one. Gee, okay. Oh, <laughs> right. hey, I finally get it. I, it's the name. Ah. I never want to hear you're here. You're making my dick squirt ever again. I never want to hear that ever again. So then they sent red to the ER and they sent my pants to the dry cleaners. And that's the story of how I defeated the Pokemon champion. The end. My good bitch, although your story was rambly and hard to follow, with seemingly months-long pauses between certain events, I can't help but feel that instead of doubling down on your negative personality traits when other people called them out, you should have stepped back to evaluate whether these criticisms have any merit. Taking the time to examine and improve yourself is the first step toward making positive life change and living a more dignified life. Sorry, I wasn't listening to only that. I just really miss the gym, dude. I really miss, miss bench pressing. I just really, I wish I could be doing that right now. I wish I could. I, I just miss the gym a lot, dude. I, I wish Barjo, Boris, please, please unlock down everything. I'm, I miss the gym so much. Boy, I never thought of it that way. My ambitions led me to be selfish and I created a lot of pain. And I made a lot of viewers unhappy. The Aww. witnesses to my many crimes, I mean. From here on out, I'm dedicating the rest of my life to making people happy and contributing to the greater joy of the world as a whole. Rusty murder. Rusty murder. Peanut butter. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't look at the chat because you probably all spoiled that. Wow, this is why I didn't look at the chat because I knew there were going to be 17 people spoiling it because they're dicks. Okay, I <laughs> just... He just popped out of nowhere and just slapped everything. Oh, well, he's dead. Okay, well, I don't know how he was going to try and make everything better considering he was literally going to be in prison for the rest of his life for the murder of, like, 17 different people. So, yeah. Yeah, they did spoil it. Yeah, of course, there's always assholes in the chat. Chat, uh, if you listen to me say don't post spoilers and then post the spoilers in the chat, uh, please leave my stream and don't come back. Thank you. Uh, Chase, thank you so much for the five dollars! Now you know the reason why Todd never appeared dorky video ever again because Peanut Butter kill him. Well, that's unfortunate. He is definitely dead. He is dead! That is the end of Rusty! But don't worry, we have more stuff coming up here as well! Uh, sorry, sorry, that was the end of Ralphie, that was the end of Ralphie, that was the end of Ralphie! By the way, chat, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do subscribe. We're gonna watch some more Darkly stuff now! We're gonna watch the Team Rocket, uh... We're gonna watch the Team Rocket stuff here. We're gonna watch the Team Rocket stuff now. But, yo, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also, did you know that there's a new sound that plays when you like... When you like streams? It's just specifically streams, it's kind of insane. Go ahead and, uh, check it out. 
But yeah, and also, while we're uh, moving on to the next little section here, if you do want to become a member, it's the second link in the description that gives you access to the Sub Noodle Discord server with all of our games. It also lets you have a discount on merchandise. It also gives you a green name. It gives you emotes in the chat. If you want to become a Tier 3 sub, you can become a Royal Noodle and claim an evolution line every 30 days too. If you'd like to, it gives you access to an exclusive area of the Sub Noodle Discord. It's very cool. You can go ahead and check that second link in the description if you would like to become a member of the Sub Noodle Gang. Anyway, Team Rocket Grunts is another series that Dorkly has done, and we are going to check that out now. So, let's not waste any time. Here it is. Okay, I got it. All right, see. So, so then six, I six. throw out my level... Oh, wait, hey, 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 Okay. All right. All right. This is Team Rocket Grunts, which is another series by Dorkly. I hope that you like the Ralphie one, and I hope that you like the Ralphie reaction. And uh, we are going to be watching this now. Almost a 500 likes. Nice. Very cool. Should I watch the stream on Twitch or should I keep watching on YouTube? I can't stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. I always stream on Twitch and YouTube separately. So if you've never seen a Twitch stream, then you're missing out on hours and hours of content. I want you to know, I streamed on Twitch for 757 hours in 2020. If you do not follow me on Twitch, you missed out on 757 hours of high quality content that you could have watched that you did not see. And before you say, no, I don't have a Twitch. Yeah, yeah, you do. It's free. It's a free website. You can literally, you don't even have to make an account to watch. Just go to twitch.tv slash powers at 11 a.m. EST. <laughs> so then I throw out my level 8 Ekans and, uh, oh, cr oh crud, I lost the contact. Nobody move. Huh, I don't see. Oh, God, Gary! Gary, stop spinning! I can't stop! I'm trapped in some kind of loopy-doopy thing! Uh, you, you okay there, Gary? Ah, who designed- I'm sorry. The doctor comes in. He's like, I'm sorry. There's nothing we can do. This is the end for Gary. This. We're, we're gonna get you some help. Just, just hang in there, Gary. Maybe if we could just bust one of them spin tiles. Whoop. God, Jesus. Take a hammer Dave? to it. <laughs> Why are you oh, no. spinning? Oh boy. My motion signal. No, 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 Dave. Do not He's do this. Throw up everywhere. Not here. <laughs> not now. I'm He's gonna, gonna throw up everywhere, it. dude. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice, nice. Oh, yeah, nice. Shoes. The puke is in my shoes in the loopy doo. Now what are we? Delicious. Do? Hold on a second. Good. What if we... They all gonna what end up stuck in it? On? I can't get a hold of any of my grunts, and no one has gotten the... Oh my god. Oh god, it's the boss! Pretend like you're working! Hi hey boss, just checking the spin tile! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, hey, how, how'd you stop the loopy doops? I turned off the friggin' power switch, you idiots! No wonder our operation is being dismantled by an 11 year old. True, true, hey, uh, facts, question. true! Uh, any of you guys want to go in that thing again? Yeah, yeah, uh, yes, yeah I'm glad you said that. Yeah, let's do it. Do, do you want to maybe like. Th they're, they're not. They're, they're not gonna. They're not gonna like cl clean up the, the, the vomit first. They're not gonna. They're just gonna let it. I mean. I'm sure it would be really fun, but like you're not gonna, you're not gonna maybe like clean up the mountain of puke that's around there first. Maybe like that'd be that'd be kind of good idea to do first. Like <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, there is as far as I know, there's seven of these little uh, little clips here. So on to on to the second one. Yeah, they don't want to. They don't want to clean up all the vomit that they've just thrown everywhere. That might be a good idea to do before you go back on the loop de loop. Bad news. Cops busted another one of our safe houses. It can only mean one thing. Someone here is a rat. Someone here is a rat, chat. And what do we do to snitches? No snitches, no knocks. Snitches not only get stitches. They, they, they get a, a lot of them, and, and, and they hurt a lot. Tata. Ratata. You mean Rattata. Oh, right, right, right. There's no such thing as rats in this world. <laughs> Anyways. Those are made-up things that I saw in Game of Thrones on Netflix. I mean, a po poke Netflix. Someone here is a Rattata. But who, boss? Who here could be a cop in disguise? It's gotta be someone in this room. Could be Gary, could be Craig, it could be even our new recruit, Officer Jenny. <laughs> it could be anyone. Hey, wait a sec. Officer Jenny. No, I'm I'm sus on Gary, dude. There's no way, Gary. No one, no one can be a Team Rocket grunt and have that much fun on a loopy loop. I love that earring. Kind of looks like an earpiece with the wire going into your shirt. Trade wire. <laughs> 
face. I would never wear a wire. Enough of complimenting the new girl. Which one of us isn't the crocodile they claim to be? Now, now, hold on, guys. How do we even know there's a well-placed mole here with a listening device recording everything to build a Rico case against Team Rocket? <laughs> That's ridiculous, Opposite guys. Man. I'm beginning to think that you really have your head on straight. We shouldn't jump to conclusions or anything, but yeah, still, of just course. to be sure, everyone strip. I can't. Uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, listen, listen. Even Team Rocket has a union, and their union states that no Rocket employee can be asked to take their clothes off. That quantifies as sexual harassment. And if there's something that the Mafia does not do, it sexually harass people. I'm, uh, Amish. Hey, wait just one Tyranitarian minute. I know- Remember, Chad, if you say that something, someone is a simp, that outs you as a unfunny eight-year-old. Uh, so, just throwing that out there. Oh, who's purloining our intel? Officer Jenny? I'm sorry. I'm the mole. I knew, I, I knew it. I was right. I was right, man. I was right, dude. I'm the mole. What? I, I've been wearing a wire for weeks now in exchange for picture berries. I have a problem, I tell ya. I'm sick. Petra berries? Oh god, boss. Have Moisey on me. Moisey. Gary, I can't believe this. But I won't let you take the fall for me. I'm the mole. I'm the one who's been spilling my guts to them grub pigs. It was the oh. only way to get out of that $20 parking ticket. It was a loading zone and I wasn't supposed to be there for over an hour. Oh heck, I've been informing too. No real reason. I just like talking to cops. You know, they really know how to listen. Wow! <laughs> really, Fat Tony? You were the informant the whole time? Really? Really, Al Capone? It was you who turned yourself in! So everyone's the mole. Except Officer Jenny. Yep, not me. <laughs> well, anyway, let's go discuss safe house locations near that unmarked van outside. Wait, if they're all in on it, then none of them can be punished. Caught a metaphor! Nice! Well done! Wow, I can't believe, in the end, it was everyone. In the end. I was right, it was Gary the whole time. Oh! No, I, te I technically wasn't wrong. I can't believe they were all traitors! What a bunch of- what a bunch of cowardly traitors! Anyway, let's see. Why Team Rocket intro doesn't make sense? Oh! <gasps> wait! The Team Rocket intro? You mean the... You mean the... Prepare for trouble, Twop. This is the day we finally steal that Pikachu! That's right! I have determined that we are gonna steal that Pikachu today! Alright! We're going to do a training seminar with you grunts to show you how to be effective members of Team Rocket. Are you like Let's 12? Start with the basics. What do you say to a trainer whose Pokemon you want to steal? Uh, uh hey, get, get, give me a dang Pokemon. Uh, hand over your Metapods, please. Oh, dear. Even these guys suck. They don't know how to do this. They're, 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 they suck so bad, dude. I don't know, Pat could do impressions. Hey, dude, I do a lot of impressions. I do. Chat, like I said, if you come to the Twitch streams, you know. I, I have, like, 25 under my belt. No, watch us. Prepare for trouble. Make it double. What? Make it double. Hey, hey, make what double? The trouble? Or... They should've got me to voice James in this. They should've got me. Or the preparation for the trouble. To protect the world from devastation. To unite... To unite all peoples within our nation. Unite all peoples within our nation. What nation? All we have is the uh, Ruby Tuesdays we go to every Tuesday. To denounce the evils of truth and love. 
to extend our reach to the stars above. Extend our reach to the stars above. Reach the stars back up there, boyo. Are we trying to build a space program? Is that why we're stealing Pidgeys? Jesse! James. I don't think we should be using our real names. We're doing uh, lots of crimes and we usually lose. Team Rocket, <laughs> last up. Okay, okay, that one was actually a fair point though. That was a very fair point. Up at the speed of light. Surrender now or prepare to fight. Surrender now or prepare to fight. And then we got Meowth back like, That's right. I love talking like Meowth. Meowth, that's right. That's right! Can I buy a sub noodle for my new US? Yes, you can! Buy a sub noodle today! There's a limited amount left, chat! There's less than 100 left! Exclamation point merch in chat for the link! Or it's in the description too! I don't think anyone's gonna surrender to a level 8 Meowth. Well, what do you think we should say before stealing Pokemon? Uh, prepare for... Rock to the f <laughs> Prepare to get mugged! What should say before stealing Pokemon? Uh, prepare for... Rock to the face! Quick, grab that Pokemon! <sighs> that is a pretty good way to steal Pokemon, eh, Jesse? Jesse! <laughs> <laughs> Meowth. That's right. Jesus Christ. Team Rocket are a bunch of traitors. Why do they keep betraying people? What is the sub noodle? The sub noodle is the mascot of the channel. This is sub noodle. This is the mascot of the channel. You can go ahead and pick up an actual physical sub noodle if you want to. It's also the name of our sub noodle Discord server. If you want to join the sub noodle Discord server, you need to become a member and then uh, type exclamation point Discord and it'll tell you how to join. It's very cool. I'd love to see you in the Discord server, by the way. It's very good. You should join it. Anyway, we've got next. What do we got next? Why Team Rocket strategy is the stupidest thing ever. All right. All right, let's see. Why is Team Rocket's strategy the stupidest thing ever? We taught you how to be real gangsters. Now, go rob that kid. You got it, little D. Is that Atkins? What the hell was that? Oh, uh, he, he defeated me. Uh, yeah, that 11-year-old uh, beat me up real good. You challenged him to a formal battle instead of jumping him? You waited for him to take his goddamn turns? Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say at the end of the last episode, it's, it would actually be really easy to mug really strong trainers if you just, like, get them by surprise and then, like, knock them out and, and steal all their Pokeballs. You just have a bunch of strong Pokemon that probably won't listen to you, but you don't have to worry about them being really strong trainers if you just, you know, mug them. Just get a gun and like point at them and be like, "Hey, don't grab your Pokeball or I'll, or I'll shoot you," because I'm a I'm a criminal, and I'll kill you if you try and grab your Pokeball. Like, duh, that's how battles work. Did I see you pay this kid money after he beat you? Well, yeah, he beat me fair and square, so I had to pay him $117. Didn't look too fair. The kid used six Pokemon, and you only used two. Why wouldn't you always be using the maximum number of Pokemon? You know, well, sometimes I never thought of that. Maybe he's doing a solo run. I guess run. I was just so confident in my two level 13 Rattatas. None of this even matters, because you shouldn't be challenging him to a battle. Just put a gun to his head and make him give you all his money. Mm, True! That's that's what I'm saying, man! Yo, they should hire me. Criminal organizations should hire me to schedule and plan out their robberies and crimes. Everyone, pretend that you didn't hear that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete the vote. I'm gonna delete the vote. kinda aggressive. All right, here, here comes another kid. Just use a gun this time. I'm on it. What the hell was that? Oh, he beat me. Oh, he beat me good. Did, did I just see you give him a gun? Yep. <laughs> I let him take his turn first. I... Oh. <laughs> I see what I did wrong. You two morons are hopeless. You'll never be part of a real gang. Hey, Team Rocket may not be the top gang in the region, but at least we have all... We may not be successful. We may not achieve our goals. We may have a 90% ratio of grunts being traitors. 
we may lose in every single battle. I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> oh, Prince oh y yike. Uh, get, get back here. I owe you $117. Jeez. All right, yeah, don't want to get shot, actually. Don't want to get shot. Not a fan. Not a fan of getting shot. Surprisingly. All right, what Team Rocket should actually be using Pokemon for? Now. Let's see, what should Team Rocket actually be using Pokemon for? Wait, why are they- why are we back in this scenario? Didn't- This guy literally shot this guy! You'd think they wouldn't be best friends anymore, right? You'd think that they wouldn't be best friends. Why stealing Pokemon? Stupid. Ooh, ooh, because they are literally free Pokemon everywhere all over the world. That's True. right, Gary. Yes. Very good. You yes. get a rare candy. My affection stats are going through the roof. But Pokemon should- It's not what rare candies do. That's, that's not- that's, no, that's not even what they do. It's, you need Pokeboffins to, to increase the fraction. They need to go into the uh, little mode for it. You need to, like, pet them on the head. That's not what rare candies do. Don't be fucking stupid. Still be an integral part of your life crime. Out of order? Wait, what? Someone said that four episodes four through six are reversed? Wait, so are we doing if Pokemon trainers were actually smart now? Does it does it even matter? Yeah, which episode am I which episode am I supposed to be watching right now? Six four are in or are the order. So so it's so it's this one now. Wait. Shit. Shit. No, it's why stealing doesn't make any sense. Okay. Interesting. Uh, excuse me. I don't think it really matters. We'll just, we'll just watch. We'll just watch this one first, and then we'll we'll go back to the start of this one. Uh, excuse me. This is a uh, Team Rocket territory. F off. This territory belongs to the Hell's Arceuses now. The what? Hell's Arceuses? What's that? Bro, We're you're a in gang, Team Aqua. Shit bird. A gang. But your name don't even have the word team in it. And then uh, you're not wearing matching outfits from Kanto Husky Boy uniforms. That sounds like a softball team. No, we're a serious gang. We're Team Rocket. This Meowth is our mascot. Exactly. A softball team. We're a gang that steals Pokemon. That is so stupid. Why would you try to steal other people's Pokemons? There's Pokemons all f***ing over. That patch of grass? Because the, they're, they're, for, for, they're, they're good. They're strong. Th that's why. Listen, I'm doing a playthrough right now of Pokemon Storm Silver where I play as a Team Rocket member and I steal other people's Pokemon. And you know why we do that? Because they're stronger when you steal them. They're stronger than when if you get them from the wilds. This right there has literally infinite Pidgeys. <laughs> they don't want fucking Pidgeys though. I guess we could just try catching a Pikachu of our own. I read somewhere they're actually pretty common. While you f***heads were talking, I caught 17 Pikachus. See? Damn, all in Pokeballs as well. That's actually kind of impressive. You did that really quickly. Hey, you've been wasting your time trying to steal Pokemons when you could have been doing actual crimes like a real gang. You could have been doing real crimes like tax fraud and third degree murder. Come on, we'll show you shit brains the ropes. Boss, boss, we finally got some Pikachus. Whoa, great work. You stole the Pikachu? But how? Got some hot tip. Wait. Is that one shiny? That one on the right, that looks like, that looks more tanned than the other ones. That one looks special, it looks like a fat Pikachu. It looks different, doesn't it? It's from my new gang pass. Oh, whoops, uh, this one's the wrong color though. Probably just effective. No, wait, no! Okay, it's, it's okay, don't care. Didn't hurt, yeah, not bothered, didn't care. It's not, didn't hurt, man. Didn't, I'm all good, I'm all good, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> Yeah, fine. This is a gun, by the way. Did you know most gang members use guns? <laughs> okay, so they just shot a Pikachu, uh, which is incredibly unpoggers of them to do. Very, very unpoggers. <laughs> Damn it! All right, let's go back to what Team Rocket should actually be using Pokemon for. Now. 
Why is stealing Pokemon stupid? Ooh, ooh, because they are literally free Pokemon everywhere all over the world. That's True. right, Gary. Very good. You get a rare candy. My affection stats are going through the roof. But Pokemon should still be an integral part of your life crime. We're gang members, so we do a lot of crime and Pokemon can help that. Oh, like Meowth here. He helps us by saying sarcastic put-downs. An Arceus. No, you can use Pokemon to do actual crimes. I got myself like 70 yeah. pounds of heroin hidden up my Snorlax's butthole. Oh. You know how much heroin fits up a regular person's butthole? Well, no, I thought I thought you were supposed to swallow the baggies and then you like and then you like shit it out later on. I didn't think you like when it went up that way and down that way. Okay. Not 70 pounds. Electrodes are basically just straight up bombs, which is very useful for taking out rival gangs. I keep exploding and then getting revived. It's super effective at making me wish it would all end. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Uh, that shit. Damn it. This is Giratina, ruler of the distortion world. He's great at stealing credit cards. I feel like I'm not being used to my full potential here. And <laughs> Where did they get a Giratina from, bro? would not believe how easy it is to use Pokemon as prostitutes. I would e I No, I I believe it. I I totally believe it. Have you seen the amount of degenerates out there? Have you seen the amount of people that like ship Ash and Serena? Have you seen that when dude, if I Google if I Google search God of War. And I go to images. And I scroll down a bit. I literally cannot show you what's on my screen right now. I, I quite literally cannot. I'm not. I would get banned if I showed you what is on my screen right now. So yeah, I, I, I believe it. I, I, I totally believe it. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna look up low punny because I already know what it's gonna be like. Exactly believe that. All right, test time. Let's start simple. Use your stolen Pokemon to make some money. On okay. it, teach. What? That's no, no, close enough. No, 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 no. <laughs> Damn it. It was technically correct. They weren't technically wrong, right? Not technically wrong. Clear my browser history? Well, okay, no. First off, Hades, I'm 24 years old. Um, who the fuck's gonna look at my browser history? I, I'm a 24-year-old man and I live by myself. I, I'm not 13 that lives with my parents. Also, all I did, literally all I did was Google search God of War and it came up with weird stuff. The only thing I'd be clearing my browser history for is, is so that I couldn't look it up again, which would be a good idea because it's not something I want to see ever again in my life, to be honest. FBI? The FBI? I live in the UK. The FBI has no jurisdiction here. Well, I mean, I guess MI5 could be, could be after me, to be honest. MI5 could definitely be after me. The FBI has absolutely no jurisdiction for me. I'm not scared of the FBI, but MI5, yeah, totally. MI5 could totally uh, come after me, for sure. And also, if they come over and they're like, why were you Google searching God of War? I'll just say, because I freaking make a living off Pokemon content. That's why. Anyway, it's time for if Pokemon trainers were actually smart. I think I've seen this before, but I don't, th it's not been a while. I think I re reacted to this entire series in, in one video before, uh, but it's been a while since I watched this, so I'm down to watch it again. You skipped one? I didn't skip one. No, I, no, we watched all these. No, we saw all these. We watched the why stealing Pokemon doesn't make any sense before the, what they should be using them before. Anyway, here we go. If Pokemon trainers are actually smart. Ah, uh, jeez, Team Rocket. What are you gonna do, boss? Explain to him how carrying three Pokeballs doesn't make sense? No, Scyther. In fact, let's end this farcical battle. 
uh, can he do that? Sure, eviscerating these gentlemen with logic would be easy enough, but- Oh no, it's Ben Shapiro. He's gonna eviscerate the Team Rockets. He's gonna eviscerate the Team Rocket socialists with facts and logic. Oh, great. Look at what our world has become. Is it any wonder they turn to a life of crime? What? Are you sure you don't want to just eviscerate us with your logic? Come on, Ben Shabibo. Let's go, dude. We're used to it. Uh, yeah, I actually look forward to it. The truth is, there's almost no way to make a living here. If Let's say, hypothetically, I was a Team Rocket Grunt, and for the sake of argument, uh, I also had a Rattata. Now, my wife would not kiss me on the lips, ever. Never give me kissy-kissy on the lips because I'm a useless Team Rocket Grunt, and I would never be able to win her affection or attention. For the sake of argument. If you're not a gym leader or running a Pokemart, how can you provide for yourself or your family? There's a reason there are so many trainers hanging out on random routes challenging children to fights for money. That's the closest thing to a career most people can find. That's true. My ma got sick. Team Rocket was the only place I was hiring. There are no schools, no hospitals, no social safety nets of any- Social safety net, Ben Shibibo. Well... Well, Ben, that's- that's starting to sound a little bit like... Like socialism to me, Ben. Surely that can't be what you actually mean. Social safety nets? Well, that's not very... Pull yourself by up by your bootstraps for the sake of argument, for the sake of argument. Of any kind, this entire region has failed its people on every possible level. Uh, but, but Mr. Shabibo, I thought your entire stance was that the government shouldn't have to do things like that and you should have to take care of yourself. Ben, are, 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 you, beco are you becoming a, a dirty socialist? No more. If I'm to defeat crime, I must address the root cause, not the symptom. Okay, this is not Ben Shibibo. This is the exact opposite of Ben Shibibo. Come, Scyther. We have much to do. Away! Actually addressing the root causes of crime in order to fix them, rather than just, like, coming down with intense military might that, for, that police shouldn't really be able to use in the first place? That doesn't sound very Ben Shibibo of you at all. Wow, boss. You did it. Schools? Hospitals? Actual airplanes so 11-year-olds ain't riding pidgeys through the sky and constantly colliding? You defeated crime by creating a functioning society. I gotta s <laughs> A functioning society? Nope, that can't be Ben Shibibo. That's not what he wants. Hey. Being exterminators who flush out the 10,000 Zubats who live in every single cave is a lot better than doing crime. Yeah! But boss, there are still gangs out there that have different motivations. What can we do about those guys? Oh, I've got some ideas. Team Magma. Using volcanoes and drought to make more land will just kill everyone. The wait, wait, is he hitting them with facts and logic? I think he is. Is he hitting them with the... Using volcanoes and drought to make more land will just kill everyone. The volcanoes will shoot so much ash into the atmosphere, it'll bring about a new ice age. All oh, right, shit. And Team Aqua, you want the sea levels to rise? 7.8 out of every... You want the sea levels to rise? What are you, dumb idiot? Objection! Every 10 square miles is already covered with water in this region. Isn't that too much water already? Also, like, just wait a little bit. Climate change is already melting the ice caps. Just, like, drive more. Ah, uh, yeah, good point. <laughs> Wait, imagine Team Aqua's master plan for making more water over a long period of time is, all right, Team Aqua, we all have to collectively agree to increase the rate of climate change so the ice caps will melt faster. So everyone quickly get in your gas guzzling trucks and drive. Good point. <laughs> hey, everyone, if you enjoyed... Hey everyone, what's going on? Hey, I think that deserves like I actually haven't seen that one. Yo, could you imagine if that ticked over to 100k there? Could you imagine? Could you imagine if that ticked over 100k? Could you imagine, dude? Now that would have been that would have been very epic. That would have been very epic indeed. But it didn't, unfortunately. I mean, you guys should like the video so it gets over to 100k anyway. The, if Pokemon Trainers is actually a smart video. By the way, chat, I just want to say, look at this. We are so close. Look, look. Look at it, look at it. We are one 
one person away from 2,300 members on the subreddit. R slash Patters is so close to 2,300 members. I'm going to post a link. There it is. Look at that. We are so close to 2,300 members. We uploaded a video on r slash Patters before. If you want to go in and contribute to the content, remember, chat, remember the most important thing. Rule number one is it have to have something to do with our streams and videos. So general Pokemon memes, not going to be the place of that. You want r slash Pokemon for that or something along those lines, a different Pokemon subreddit. But if you want to come and post memes that are related to our streams, our videos, anything like that, then that is the place because we feature them in videos that we upload onto the channel on this channel, by the way. Wait, did you join? Wait. Wait, wait, refresh. Wait, wait, chat. Wait. Hold on. You're telling me this 2300? You're telling me this? What? Oh my god, wait. Jesus Christ, 2332! Jesus, we, sh we smacked that! Good lord, guys! Well done, ladies and gentlemen, well done to us. We've smashed it. What a bunch of absolute legends. Next stop, 2,500. Let's go. Uh, I usually do the Reddit roundups on Twitch streams and then I upload them to YouTube. So if you'd like to see us do a live review of the Reddit, then go ahead and follow me on Twitch because that's usually where we do them. I'm not going to do one now because we did one quite recently. So I want to allow kind of content to accumulate before I do one again. But yo, thank you. Okay, okay. I'm just, just because I'm curious. Just because, just because I'm... Here's another 16. We're doing it, boys! We're doing it, ladies and gentlemen. We got him! Ladies and gentlemen, we got him! All right, yo, what a, what a fantastic stream. We have done such... Such a good, such great stuff today. Such great stuff. And also, I don't know if you guys knew this. Uh, I also, I also have a TikTok, um, which is currently on. Yo, our subreddit. You know what's funny is our subreddit has more members than our TikTok. So I'm just saying, if you guys also use TikTok, then uh, this is something that you should use as well. Because I post on my TikTok pretty much every day. In fact, you may, you may not have seen this clip right here, which uh, I'm going to play right now because I think it was kind of funny. But, uh. Burke brings up a very good point here. Burke says, But wait, Pat, you just picked up the wise glasses. And that only boosts special attack. Well. Objection! We are currently fighting a Frostlass, a Pokemon that is much better suited to fighting against a Tapu Lele, which would also be boosted by a Wise Glasses, boosting his special attack and boosting Shadow Ball. Therefore, at the end of this fight, if I do replace my Crustal with a Frostlass, I would end up in a much better position, able to use super effective moves against the Tapu Lele, and also having the Wise Glasses boost to make me even stronger. Take that. Yeah! All right, like I said, I'm gonna take this with my Wise Glasses, and I'll be. Charlie! Burke brings up a ve- I had that I had whole plan. I had the whole plan mapped out. I had the whole freaking shebang, man. The whole strategy mapped out on how it was going to be good. I put a wise glasses on a crustle because I knew I was going to take the frost last later on, get that special attack boost from the frost last. And Charlie, he stole it from me. He stole the frost last from me. But it's okay. No, we love Charlie. My, my brother's actually called Charlie. We love Charlie. Also, um... Did I post it on... No, I didn't. Okay. I also want to show you one last uh, little thing here that I thought was funny that I actually made yesterday on stream is I made a little video on stream yesterday and I didn't post it anywhere else yet, but I just thought it was a funny little video, which was this one right here. I love this. By the way, I love this music. What was in the replies? Gen 6 isn't that bad. View 53 replies. That's like a horror story in three words, man. Oh, uh, and speaking of new content, who would like a brand new short? Would anyone like a brand new short? Didn't you put this on Twitter?
Yes. <laughs> Who would like a brand new shirt? Would you like one? One final present for the day, ladies and gentlemen. One final present for the day. A short. A brand new one, actually. I need to... Okay, okay, chat. Uh, I am going to let a member choose a number between one and three. And that is the short that I will upload. I have three here that I can upload. I will let a member choose a random number between one and three. The first member that pops up in the chat. Wishmaster Jirachi! There we go. Wishmaster Jirachi. Beautiful little green name in the chat. Uh, said number two, which is this one. All right. Here we go. Uh, thank you, Wishmaster Jirachi, for selecting for me. Beautiful little green name in the chat. Uh, and I'm about to upload this today. Here we go. And it is brand new. And it is new. And it is up. There you go. I have a brand new short for you guys here today. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. I hope it makes you laugh. And I'll see you guys in the next stream. Goodbye, guys.